My painting is heavily inspired by that of Darren Latham. That is no secret. Uh, this MMM painting series started as a direct copy of his recipes and style, in an effort to learn and evolve as a painter. His painting channel is for us that liked unadulterated, top tier painting videos, the absolute best out there. So I thought that this, which feels like the last video of the series, would be a good time to pay my respects to Darren and how much he's meant to me as an artist. I've been thinking for a long time about something unequivocally British and funny to celebrate this milestone and also, sadly, to serve as a send-off for his channel. Because the sad reality is his channel is dead. It's passed on. That channel is no more. It has ceased to be. It is inspired and gone to meet its maker. That is a late channel. It's a stiff, bereft of life, it rests in peace. If we have been nailed to memories, it will be pushing up the daisies. It's round down the curtain and join the choir invisible. That is the next channel. Hello fellow Hearts of Blue and welcome to my channel and also welcome to another NMN tutorial and it's being going to paint what I think is the last color left in the series. Green. So let's get cracking. As you can see, we're starting from a base coat of two parts cybered green and one part phalanx yellow. And our first step will be to sketch the main areas of highlight. And for this, I'm going to use a mix of two parts cybered green, one part phalanx yellow and two parts dawn yellow. And we are going to use, as always, the four highlight a point a method and for this you have to imagine one light source on each corner of the mini in this case uh, as this is a cylinder it will have a vertical line following its shape here this is more or less around the surface so it will have a point there and so on and so forth it's just a matter of following the basic shapes With that layer now dry, I'm going to blend the two tones together. This is very simple. I'm just going to take the first base coat tone. This is two parts cyber green and one part phalanx yellow. And I'm going to do a glaze with this. You can see there. I'm just going to apply this, moving away from the highlight and into the base coat. This is going to take a while to blend, but it's worth taking your time and doing it right. We're going to repeat this process until the blend is smooth and nice. The blend is now pretty smooth, I'm very happy with it. And I'm going to start shading this so I can get a better sense of the um, overall areas of uh, shadows and highlights. And for this, I'm going to use a mix of two parts Caliban Green and one part Avalon Sunset. And I have it thinned down to a glaze consistency like this using Lamian Medium. Uh, I'm using Lamian Medium here because I want to thin it down. This is very intense colors. So I want to thin them down as much as possible and Lamia Medium helps with that without allowing the pigments to break apart and cause a mess. So I'm just going to apply this in several layers, uh, moving my brush in the directions I want the shadows to be, just like that. So again, moving my brush from the midtones into the shadows and in each pass I'm going to apply to less and less area until I have this like pure mix showing in the shadow areas. Also, don't forget to add this into the recesses. This is not going to be our deepest shadows, but it helps if we start with the recess shading now.
So with that last step done, you see that we gain a lot of contrast and this is starting to look amazing and I'm going to just give it the final shading and for this I'm going to use something that it may sound a bit weird for you but trust me it works very very well. I'm going to take Nagar of Night and I'm going to do a very thin glaze with it. I'm using again Lamia Medium because Nagar of Night is very intense and I want a very very thin and if I don't use Lamia Medium I run the risk of it splitting and leaving ugly coffee stains. You can see how thin it is. And I am going to glaze it down into the shadows here. First of all, slowly, just a thin application. And we keep on building this Niagara of Night Glaze, adding more and more into the shadows. And suddenly you can start to see that our shadows start to gain a bit of interest. They're not just desaturated, they are intense and have their own life and that is the magic of using purple here and i'm going to take Niagara of night this is pure uh well a uh, thin down so it flows nicely of course and i'm going to do a research shade with this so that's the first step and then i'm going to apply this again without thinning into the very deepest shadows and this is like this now and I'm just going to do it you can see here very small dots of this into the very deepest shadows so essentially we are more or less stippling this in you can see how intense our shadows are now intense but not desaturated they have life they have warmth it's a very interesting color to apply here. I hope you don't mind if I make a small break to introduce you to this video sponsor, me. I am a goldsmith. My job is cool because I get to play with fire and make cool custom stuff. How cool? Well, I will let you judge for yourselves. Not bad, huh? I'm really proud of my work, I make normal boring stuff too, but who wants to see that? Much better, back to the cool pieces. So if you need or want some custom jewelry, or know someone that does, and want to help me out making these videos, go and check the link to my store in the description and the pinned comment of this video. These are the droids you're looking for. And with that shading done, I'm going to move into the highlights. But before I do that, I have to edge highlight everything. And for this, I'm going back to the first highlight mix. This is two parts cyber red green, two parts tone yellow, and one part phalanx yellow. And I'm going to do an edge highlight with this. And with that done, I'm going to move into the next stage of highlight. This is a one-to-one -one mix of Dawn Yellow and Gauss Blaster Green. And I'm going to do a thinner edge highlight with this, concentrating it towards the areas of highlight. And I'm going to do, of course, a main highlight on all the uh, volumetric bits.
before I do the final highlight on the armor, I'm going to add the secondary reflections and then I will do that final highlight for everything. And I'm going to start with the base coat. This is two parts hybrid green and one part phalanx yellow. And I'm going to draw this secondary reflections mainly into the shadow areas. For example, places like here, just like that, here, This will help sell the uh, reflective um, effect. Now into those secondary reflections and going to the deep last highlight I did. This is one part on yellow and one part Gauss blaster green. And just going to paint something that's more inside of those reflections, just like that. And now finally as the last step on our beautiful leg, I'm going to take a mix of one part on yellow and one part pure white and just going to do the very final highlight. This will be just very small dots of this into the very uh, brightest bits. Maybe here in these big areas. I will continue these lines that I did a bit more. You know, but for the most part, this is just going to be dots. And with that last step done, our leg is finished. And this is one of those uh, NMM recipes that I really, really like. I, I really love how this turned out and I can't wait to finish this model. But sadly, if you know Plague Knight, well, his legs are not green. So uh, even if I did this for demonstration purposes, the only green part in this model would be the mask. The shoulder part, which you can see one them there that I did for uh, trying out how this works and the hands and his legs will be gold and black. So yeah, I will be repainting over this, but such is life. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this one and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Do you like my videos and want to help me make them? Well, there are several ways you can do that. You can follow me on social media. You have the links to all my social media in the description below. You can also check all my affiliate links in the pinned comment of this video. Use those links in your next hobby purchase and help me without any additional cost to you. I finally have a link for the brushes that I use down there. Don't forget to check the merch that you can see just below this video in the shop tab of my channel. But most importantly, there is Patreon and channel members. You have the link to my Patreon in the description below in the pinned comment of the video. Or if you prefer, you can just click the join button below this video. Patreon and channel members help me to all the cool projects that I want to make and help me improve the quality of my videos. Don't be afraid, no content will ever be hidden behind a paywall, but it's a nice way to help me and you will get something back for university. As I said, guys, thank you very much for watching. A special thank you to Heather Amstelano, Sikis Mundi, Nicolas Furnell, Brian Bledsoe. LMAP Limited, Tyrannosaur, Carlos Rivera, Chris Goldenthal, Christoph Morel, Javi Mota, Kim Anderson, Michael Boye, Thomas Ustergaard, Tom Brand, Victor Domen, Arundel, Charles Armintash, Chris Fivey, Kieran Murthar, Chris Talios, Dan Mako, Darcy Farag, Dr. B, Gary Smith, George Royce, G-Force, Jack Scoten, Jamie Milligan, Joe Simpson, JT Butler, Kevin Mian, Kevin Sula, Ronald Lindemann, Mark Jarvis, Natius Maximus, Juan Brastruck Better, Oscar Jonathan Thomberg, Roger Nielsen, Sam Walsh as a park and Dusted for being the coolest persons in the planet. Be like these fine folks on my Patreon and take control.